the side of a off the side of, of a thing. hole. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Brian, what did we learn? <laughs> Check your surroundings. Like teleported almost. There is an item down there. Do you see that blue thing? In the river? There's an item in the river. God, they fucking caught up so fast. Item in the river. Go get it. There you go. Also, that guy is gonna get up now. Oh! <laughs> he cornered you. You need to beat him. You need to look at him, Brian! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're saying your shit! And keep hitting the rock! <laughs> Your left dagger keeps hitting the rock. <sighs> so do I keep the items between dying? Yes. Okay. Items are kept. So if you keep a soul, that makes up for any souls you lose. Do you get anything if you beat this game without ever dying? No. And people have done it. Speedrunners do it all the time. You don't get anything special. They just avoid everything. You just, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when to avoid, when to hit, who to kill, what to pick up. Was that 50 souls worth it, Brian? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you're getting gangbanged again. <sighs> Early on, I, I did tell you, they're not very strong, but they are aggressive. Yeah. So you get cornered, you're basically dead. <laughs> they do tease you with cool stuff like the winged spear and stuff you can get later on. Like when I saw the great sword, I was like, I want that. I want to use that. See? So you can't avoid everyone. You can go up the stairs. It's just, once you're in open field, you do have to kill them all. Yeah. Be aware, you're not alone here. Yeah. Look directly in front of you. Do oh, not yeah. fuck with that guy. He will not fuck with you if you don't fuck with him. Oh. Get ready to fight. So I want to fight these guys? I mean, you have to now. There is no way to de-aggro them. <laughs> Oh, there's nowhere else to go, or I want to run I'll, past I mean, you do eventually want to enter the mist, but you are not invincible when you enter the mist. If you get hit when you enter the mist, you interrupt that animation. Luckily, only two of them followed you. Nice. Yeah. You do not... Come yeah, on. Getting, you're, you're getting sloppy, Brian. He's got a lunging attack. Do you see that? That guy does not care about your existence. Hey, good. Ask this up. All right. Okay. How do I do my... Yeah. You <laughs> killed three random guys. <laughs> now, if your balls are huge, you can fuck with him. He will wreck your shit. There's an arrow uh, archer up there. Right <laughs> you got a single life gem, so that's cool. You can touch him, you can touch him, but you just can't fight him. Yeah, see? He doesn't care. Oh, okay. But the moment you strike him, he will... will rape my life. ...put it in dry. <laughs> You're tempted to. Kill the archer fur, okay! <laughs> well... Can the archer hurt him if he hits no. him? No. I mean, he can, but the archer won't be aiming at him. Ooh. That was one hit. Wow, he attacks he, fast. Yeah, and you have no health. Yep. Wow. He's much stronger than those big yeah. guys. And he, he's gonna go back now. He's just gonna go back. <laughs> they don't it's, care. They honestly, tree. they honestly don't care. They're like once your the threat is done, he will go back and sit down. <laughs> I love that about this universe. It's just like once the threat is gone, they're like, huh, time to go back and aimlessly walk. If you sneak up behind him, you can backstab him. You almost did it. Are you attack? Are you using R two to? I mean, uh, trigger to attack instead of bumper? No, I'm using the bumpers for, okay. for all my attacks. Okay. This is why I prefer playing this game on PS4 because I bumpers. wish we could do more of a slash because right now it's kind of a, a above head. Attack. Switch out your sword then, dude. If you don't like the move sets, switch out your sword. Oh, you okay? I mean, unequip your yeah. Switch it out for instead of a scimitar, get the short sword. I still can't. Not strong use enough. That, right? Not strong enough. Not the broken sword. Use a short sword. What? Oh, yeah, we got the cleric's chime. See if you like that moveset better. 
feel like I'm not really utilizing the dual wielding. Yeah, you can unequip your dagger if you want. Or you can put your dagger also on your right arm. You know that? Ah! Okay, no, no. There. That's what you want. The parry's useless, remember? Yeah, yeah. You know, oh. remember how I said everything takes stamina? Oh, blocking, blocking takes, takes stamina. Yeah. What did you? Why did you turn around for? I was hitting the. Oh no! You need to lock on so you can block. You're gonna die. Okay, you're you're now learning a new move set, which is blocking. That's a new skill you haven't like you haven't picked up yet. I'm being serious when I say that. When you hold up your shield, your stamina regens like shit. Okay. So you need to drop your shield when you're not blocking. Okay. If that makes that probably is redundant, but I, it, yeah, yeah. Wow. They have a flurry of attacks. Okay, now go. There you go. The worst thing you can do in a boss fight is tank a hit and then not drop your shield, because once that your stamina decreases forever, there there's a free boss hit, which is you being dead again. Um, so you have no health. I'm just trying to practice. Oh, no, 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 for sure. Um, get your, uh, yeah. Practice blocking. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's not 100% block. You do know that, right? Oh, like, you are I taking take a damage. little bit of damage. Uh, yeah. Okay. So your block needs to be a last minute option where you didn't have time to roll. I need to block because I'm going to get hit no matter what. I was doing a shield attack before. You were doing a parry before. Oh, okay. Hit the parry button. You no. <laughs> That's not the What's, parry. I thought this was the parry. A is not the parry button? L2. There you go. That's oh. a parry button. It's not an attack. That's right. So sit down. <laughs> okay. You want to get that item or no? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I think I'm being a bit too backseat drivery, and I'll let you kind of experience it. And if you have questions, you know, uh, let me know. That being said, sometimes I can't help myself. Like, I love talking about this game. I love teaching people about this game. You miss an item back there. <laughs> How did you see that? The, the, the prompt pickup item comes oh. on the screen. <laughs> Throwing knives are helpful, because you don't have a bow and arrow. Throwing knives are your only long distance option at the moment. That is not worth getting. Unless you really like throwing knives. I'm like two-shotting these guys. You Why keep turning your me? back to them. I know, it's because I'm trying to back up with my shield facing yeah, them. Yeah, guess what? That's what happens. If you want to back up with your shield facing them, you know what you have to do? You have to lock on. You have to on. lock on. But... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to have to lock on. That, and how do you switch between enemies once you're locked on? Because that just you locks just on. You just got killed. That oh, just okay. locks on and off. Right. Um, the right stick. Oh. Tap the right stick in the direction of the enemy you want to target. So you locked onto him, you see him coming, tap right stick that way. Camera shifts oh, that way. Oh, I see. You have to move the stick. You can't just this keep game, tapping yeah. it. This game does a pretty good job of mapping everything possible to a controller, basically. But again, like, you're figuring that out. So not only are you mastering kind of new controls, you're also mastering things like timing. You when know? I Actually, what it does is when I tap, it unlocks, and then I have the option to lock again. Right. Okay. Oh, no, it... That's what I meant. This is... Switch it. Oh, I see now. This not is tapping it. So I that's see. why it's helpful, Brian. So you're constantly facing the threat as opposed to turning your back against them. Now that you can do that, <laughs> don't forget how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> you never learn how to mind your surroundings. Ah, I'm getting confused. To be fair, though, you're balancing a lot of new skills at the same time, right? Yeah, much easier with the shield. Oh, yeah. No. That's nothing. Oh, 500 souls! Don't depend on your shield. Mm. You really need to get used to the roll. Yeah. 
use your shield as a last minute, I cannot safely roll, uh, you know, option. Yeah. Um, you can dump items in your bonfire that you aren't using, by the way. Oh, you can? Yeah, Does if you want to. sell them? Or no, 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 just like leave, like, leave them, like, a, like an item box. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because later on, you're going to get so many, like, helmets, so many pieces of armor, so many weapons, that it's just like, why am I going to bother carrying 30 helmets? That's cool, I can roll and then stab. Yes, yes you can. Yeah, the combat is limited, but you can do lots of good combos. There you go. You have to kind of, and this is going to be weird to say, you have to kind of play this game a little bit lame. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because of your stamina. Do you see the shit regenerate of your stamina right now? Yeah. Yeah. Drop your shield, Brian. <laughs> well, he was shooting there. I, I, I understand. But drop your shield, and then when you see the arrow come at you, then just hit the shield. Like, yeah. Even the Foley sound effects of the ladder are just like, just... Little details make me like make, make me happy. Do not back up into that hole. Find your surroundings. You didn't. You forgot there was a third guy there with an axe. Yes. That's one. Watch out. That's two. The, the strongest guy and the archer are still alive. Okay, you're all right. Do you see him trying to track you? Mm -hmm. He thought you were gonna roll. That's how crazy the AI is sometimes. Yeah, he's tracking Dude. you. He's tracking you. Alright. There you go. Yeah, Ooh. I need to use the lock on. It's... It you have to be good with it, yeah. yeah. It's just you, you yeah. Skip fighting him. Kill the archer. He's been pissing. There's a there's a good weapon up there, by the way. How do I get up there? Good question. Go past the uh, the white knight. Keep going. Over here somewhere? There's an opening right there. Tread carefully. I think there might be enemies on this path. No? Okay. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Be careful. That's an enemy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just told you to be careful, Brian! Oh. Oh. You've got enough for a level up. You need to get to that staircase as safely as possible. Yeah. Because you need to get your souls back. I need to get my soul. The white sign soapstone. That's only for an online play. That's super helpful for online play, though. All right. Aggro whoever you need to aggro. Fight who you need to fight. Get your souls back. You don't need to fight down everyone. Oh, You're just, uh, no, just slowly jogging. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I ran out of There you go. Stamina management is so crucial to, you know, success in this. And, you know, don't be, um, I think this isn't the case for you, but this is for the viewer. Don't be afraid to die. You're going to die a lot, but you need to learn from dying a lot. <laughs> if you just get frustrated, then this isn't your type, type of game. No, no. And this game isn't for, oh, they follow you up the stairs, remember? You have two. You have two. Go down. Just go down. <laughs> go to open field. Just go. Oh, my God. This is oh they, they actually uh, get out of the way, huh? Well, the they're, they're kind of... They're, yeah, that was bad. That was weird AI. They shouldn't have done that. They should have tried to attack you, honestly. Oh, God. Watch out for the axe. Oh, man. That guy's two-handing it, too, so it's double strong. Stop locking. Run. Yeah. You can't run while locked on. You need to decide what to do. Where you can't just stand still. Down. Well. What did you, what? I was trying to find the way down. There's a ladder directly there. It's gray. Oh, there it is. What? I'm gonna leave that away first. Okay. Yeah, that would've been instant death. A fucking double lunge with a, with a two-handed axe. Yeah, no, no thanks. Sprint. Go. What are you doing? I don't know where it is. I it's can't right see there. It. 
Don't fall down! You're gonna die. Oh god. High stakes, high tension, Dark Souls play. Don't forget, these guys are still alive. Uh, unless they all chase you. Nope, they didn't. Okay. What is your next move? <laughs> you gonna yeah, rest? Level. You gonna rest? That resets. You can rest if you want to reset them. You can't rest now. If there are enemies near the bonfire, it will not allow you to save. You need to kill at least these two. Good. Good! Thank you for not raising your shield after that. See, that would have been shield worthy. See, I like having my shield up, though, because it's more... I, I understand, secure. but you keep your shield up. It, it's, it's hard to explain. You have to get a feel for when to raise your shield and for when to regen, regen your stamina. But, you can level up now. I, again, would suggest your health. <laughs> Bearer of the curse. You have you have Seek level four health. The king, yeah. Lest this <clears throat> land swallow you whole. The fact that as your health so. is the same size as your stamina is not a good sign. <laughs> your health bar needs to be like at least twenty five percent larger. I can upgrade my flask. Eventually, not okay. right now. There is a way to upgrade your flask. Yeah, you need to upgrade your health. Just. And that's about what? Maybe like two or three or four percent? Just keep doing that and it will pay off. You almost backed up off the cliff. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> you haven't even explored like the stuff with like the, the blacksmith or the other townspeople. But that's fine. I am sexy. You know there's someone here who can sell you items, right? Turn around. Turn around, keep going. Go in that direction. No, no, turn slightly left. Yeah, go in that direction. Toward the big house. Now turn slightly left. Slightly left. More, 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 more. Oh, she's not there. Oh, you didn't find her. Oh, no, wait, turn around. Toward the, toward the rocky gate. Left. Turn left. Left, left, left. Yeah, she's not there yet. You haven't found her. There's someone who sells you gemstones. Mm. Or health gems, or whatever the hell they're called. This is the way back. You're going back to things betwixt. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I did that uh, a few times during my first few hours as well. That's why I know that way very well. There's nothing there. There is something down this well, but you will not survive that fall. How do you get down there? Exactly. <laughs> do you have to wait until... There's two different ways to get down there. I will let you figure out those two ways when the time comes. Do not go here! Oh, hit that rock! Isn't that cute? Oh. Estus Flask Shard. Notice how that said Estus Flask? Mm -hmm. Uh, don't go here. Those- okay, you're dead. Those are little pigs. Oh, they will cute. kill you. Oh my god, they, they will kill you. a lot of health. Yes. They are tougher than any of the enemies you've fought so far. Why? Oh! <laughs> Almost. They will chase you down if you don't de-aggro them now. Leave, run, sprint. <laughs> okay. They're not even worth that much XP. So, give the Estus Flask to the Emerald Herald. That is her name. You will find out her, her, her real name eventually. Bearer of the curse. Seek Bearer, soul. seek, seek, lest. Not seek the king. That's the first four words of all of her dialogue. It has so. so there's a thread on Neo Gaff that just. Oh, oh there's the pig! Oh God! Do not let her, them attack the Emerald Herald. She cannot die. They will aggro her? They will attack her if they miss you. <laughs> well, you're dead. Just kill yourself. Uh. Let just, just die. How are you. You can't level up. They're too close to her. You literally might as well die. They are not as tough as I remember. They have a lot of health, but they in, don't do a lot of damage. In okay, so there's an expansion of this game. You know how like Diablo has expansions and they're called like evil shit? Yeah. Ultimate Evil Edition. Uh, there's a span an expansion of this called Scholar of the New Sin. 
Or Scholar of the First Sin. Sorry, God, I'm a bad Dark Souls person. Scholar of the First Sin. And these guys were insanely strong back then. There was also a, um, a Rhino Hippo in the Valley of the Giants. <laughs> the fact that there isn't a giant hippo is good for you. Because I had to fight that stupid hippo twice <laughs> in the first hour of the game. Ooh. Hey, yeah. Oh. Get one, just kill one. How much XP are they worth? Get that one. Come on, don't miss. You keep your lock is changing on who's closer to you. Get that one. Yeah. He's not dead yet. Oh what? You traded. You traded. Which again, you should never do. <laughs> that was just a normal attack. I know. I know. You didn't know you can't you can't stop their attack like that. Magic weapon is a good sorcery thing. Get your souls. <laughs> <sighs> well, they reset too, so... Yeah. And... yes. Now give her the shard. Is that a shard you found? Yeah. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. How do you think this will upgrade your flask? To see light. More help? To see hope. Good guess. No. However faint it might be. Takes a while. Uh-huh. Back up. Oh. Now you have an extra nice. one. So you have an extra sip. That is nice. So now instead of one charge, you have two charges. And that makes a life of oh, difference. Yeah, literally. So guess what? Every time you see Estes Flask Shard, you bonfire back to the Herald so she can do something about it. Yeah. Talk to the blacksmith. He's right next uh, to you. Dude. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open. I packed my tools in here. So you can't now upgrade your weapons until you unlock the blacksmith's door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without There is an item right there, though. Bring me that key. Talk to Soul of a nameless soul and three life gems. I would like you to equip your life gems now. Go to equipment. No, no, no. Go to equipment. Go to the next slot. Yep. And then equip your life gems. You have six of them. There you go. So, if you run out of Estus flasks, burn some life gems. How do I... Two hand? Yeah, you just switch down. Pretty helpful. Oh, yeah. How do you two hand? I forgot. Triangle. Uh, why? You why are you two handing? Don't hold. You just oh, tap Y. Yeah. That's not gonna help you. Tap <laughs> Y. There you go. It's block. Yeah, your block is worthless with a sword. Now, then, not as speedy, but definitely more powerful. So it's up to you to choose. You know the pros and cons of swinging two-handed or one-handed. Yeah. You know. Me, personally, two-handing the great sword is the best shit ever. There's an item right there. Yeah, yeah, fuck that shit, yeah. Whatever that is. More life gems! Never a bad thing. Don't go to Hades Tower. Can you break your weapons? Like if I Yes, were to keep weapons have durability. Oh, okay. I don't know if they patched it for this version, but um, durability is tied to frame rate. Mm. So when they doubled the frame rate, they halved the durability. <laughs> I want you to read that. I don't want you to accept it, but I want you to read. Oh, get the item. There's an item right there. Homeward bone. That's gonna be important. Yeah. You didn't. No, there's 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 a, there's a there's a legit thing in the tree. Oh. Don't enter. This covenant. Don't do it. What is it? This is the champ this is the covenant of champions. This puts you into new game plus automatically. What is new game plus? Enemies are tougher. 
Why would you want to do that? Because it's the Covenant of Champions. Oh. Now, I could be wrong. And it might not be New Game Plus. It might just be that all bosses and enemies are just as tough as if you were playing co-op. Mm. So it's like you're playing co-op with that level of difficulty and health all the time. Which is about 20-25% health boost and damage boost to yeah. enemies. So either way, they become stronger if you enter the Covenant of Champions. What are you looking at? There's items down there, which you will not get. Even that first board, you will die if you jump down there. I don't know why you don't believe me. <laughs> Open the door. And talk to her. What? Oh. The hell. Dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Mm-hmm. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well. What now? Why would you do that? Oh. <laughs> so it's funny, um, she is invincible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yes. She's not... Yes. It's, thank you for getting her name, anyway. So she can help you. You can buy items from her. Check what she has for sale. Super expensive shit. Yeah. Ring of the Evil Eye. Absorb HP from every person you you beat. That's cool. Reduce damage from falling. Oh. Easier to be detected by enemies. This is if you are looking to grind XP. Oh, I see. Easier to connect the players. You choose the same god. So this is going to help you get your chances to um, get the right co-op people. Why does... How does that work? Let's say you pledge to the Covenant of Champions then you will be easier to connect to people who also pledge to the same covenant. Oh, they're different covenants. Yeah, you can if you are to. a blue... You don't know who they are yet. If you're a blue sentinel, then you will connect to other blue sentinels. So each person you pledge to, or each god, or religion, or whatever, you get different benefits, or...? No, not really. There's no real benefits, other okay. than gear, weapons, and... Um, yeah, there's no like there's, like, there's no like stat boosts or anything like that. Can hear the voices of foes. This is helpful when this game used to actually be dark. Mm. You could ring, we could wear this ring, and you could you could hear someone breathing, in you know the wall behind you or down the hallway. Yeah. Homeward bone, don't need that. You don't need that. Prism stone, you don't need that. Alluring skull. Later you'll get a bunch of those, so you don't need that. Lloyd's talisman is helpful in PvP and it's helpful for a very special type of enemy you have not, not yet seen. And I hope you do see it tonight. Nothing very to do, I presume. No, but you're cool, Shalakwar. Well, that's dismaying. <laughs> She's the only one you can attack freely. You can attack her infinitely and she will not bear you any ill will. What time is it? Honestly, I am getting pretty tired. Getting tired? Okay. Yeah, I want to keep playing, but I'm starting to fall asleep. That's okay. Uh, which way do I want to go? I already forgot. I guess I'll just bonfire. Yeah, just bonfire away. You know this is my tower, right? So I have to bring this home. But I mean, if yeah, you yeah. do want to... Obviously, this isn't a file you're going to keep. You can always start over. Uh, I probably I, will. And I would love make myself for, not retarded. <laughs> I would love for you to uh, continue this more and just enjoy this amazing universe of Dark Souls. I am an ET looking motherfucker. <laughs> I will honestly like if you need me to. I will like come over and then just just watch you play Dark Souls. Just, I love this so much. Yeah, I'm down for that. I will eventually need to bring over my PS4, and you can play Bloodborne, which is Dark Souls, but aggressive. Because this game isn't aggressive. Um, That's where it came from, huh? Yeah. It dropped down there. So yeah, if you're ever down to play a more aggressive version of Dark Souls, uh, I've got you covered. Is it... 
like, does it still have the blood or the Dark Souls name, or is it? Uh, Bloodborne is an offshoot. Okay. Uh, it was produced the same time as Dark Souls Two. Guess which game is much better? It's Bloodborne, actually. <laughs> um, the only shield in Bloodborne. The only shield in the game. Yeah. That's the very first wrong. And you <laughs> fucked yeah. the, the only shield in Bloodborne is worthless. There's no shields worth a damn in Bloodborne. So parrying and dodging, dodging are your friends. There's no going back, huh? Like when you kill someone, it's like they're when dead. you kill the Emerald Herald, you can never level up. So it's pretty much over at that point. Like you have well, to start a new game. I mean, if you're a beast and you never get hit, yeah, you can kill anything in this game. Yeah, it just would take forever, right? Yeah, it should look kind of cool. Not when I'm like a tomato, but I look. This yeah, it, it also matches your green kind of outfit. Yeah. So that's it for uh, Dark Souls Two. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed playing it, Brian. This game I, is awesome. I, ah! <laughs>